Hey guys, welcome back to another video by me. I am Nicholas Woolsey and you are watching another Nicholas Woolsey video tutorial about photography and whatever. Okay, so in today's video, I'm gonna show you how you can use random household objects to make cool artistic photos. Are these practical out in the real world? And in doing photography professionally, probably not, but in your house or with friends or kind of just to make some cool pictures, they work. So without further ado, let's get started. All right, so for my subject today, I'll be using this old film camera that I have lying around um, in my office. That will be my subject. What I'm gonna be using today are a series of kind of random household items. We've got Vaseline, piece of foil, flashlight, a rubber band, a few Sharpies, and we've got this kind of little pom-pom thing that my wife made, it's pretty cool. So what my focus is today is three artistic photography hacks that you can use with your lens. I'll be using my Nikon D600 with the 85 millimeter 1.4 lens. The first thing we're doing today is we are throwing on a piece of foil just like this. Once we have our foil on, shiny side in, we are sticking a rubber band on there. Super easy, super simple. And then the next step is we are gonna use our flashlight here. I've got a strong LED flashlight. All I'm doing is looking at my camera, sitting there on the table, simply focusing on it, autofocus, and using my flashlight to shine inside the foil. Cool, got a real dreamy shot, here it is. All right, so that is our first little hack. The next thing we've got, we've got this 77 millimeter filter. And the reason I'm putting this on is because I'm gonna spread a bit of this Vaseline on here and I don't wanna put this directly on my lens. So what you're gonna do is just kinda of smear some of this Vaseline on here and leave a clear spot from which to stick your subject like that. There we get this shot. There we go, and so that adds sort of like a dreamy haze around the edges of your photos. Let's pull that filter off. And the next thing we're gonna do is take this bag right here. We're gonna use these three markers, RGB, what are they? Your primary colors, very good. We're gonna simply scribble some red on here. We're gonna scribble some blue on here, and then we're gonna scribble some green on here. Cool, so this is what it's gonna look like. Nice, awesome. We're gonna go inside the middle, tear out kind of the center section there, stick that on our camera like so. Now when you do this, you can position kind of the bag however you'd like to be able to catch some of those colors. Let's focus on this. All right, so perfect, there we go. And then you get this cool shot right here. This next hack that I'm gonna show you is similar to the first one that we did with the foil, except this time you're not using the foil. This is to add a little bit of lens flare. This works really good if you have a fast aperture lens like the 1.4 that I'm using today. So all you're gonna do is you're gonna set a proper exposure, you're gonna get your focus, and then you're gonna just turn your, can't your, then you're just gonna turn your flashlight on and hit your lens from an angle. When you do this, it adds a nice dreamy effect to one side of your camera, making it look almost Instagrammy. The very last little hack that I have for you is, it's to shoot through something. So this adds depth to your photo and gives a little bit of a, a foreground in your image. And so for this, I'm using this little pom-pom that my wife made. Boom, and here's the shot right here. Now I'm using a really, really fast lens, 1.4. So you're not getting as much detail or definition in this shot of the pom-pom, however, still getting a really cool shot. I hope you enjoyed these. If you like this video and you wanna see more like this, give a thumbs up and comment below. Also, if you haven't already, subscribe to the channel. I bring weekly and sometimes even daily videos of camera tips, tricks, and tutorials of things that can help you in your photography journey. So hit that subscribe button. Also below, you'll find a link to my free quick start guide to digital photography for beginners ebook. Click the link, get the ebook. It's totally free. I hope you enjoyed this video. I look forward to seeing you on the next one.